Install a 1x4 along the course line for the chimney flashing to bend up and over. Then measure for the flashing. It should go 6 inches up the back of the chimney and up and over the 1x4. Measure for the width of that flashing too. It'll need to extend 6 inches past the chimney on both sides. You'll fabricate your chimney flashing using a piece of stone coated flat stock that measures 52 inches by 18 inches. This is actually one of the blanks that's press formed to produce the tile. Draw out measurements, then cut to size. That cuts it to length. This is the width cut. Now use the top course bender to make the break lines. I place it so that I can just see the line when it's in the bender. You'll need the foot bender for the three quarter inch jog that goes up and over the one by four. Position the work so that you can just see the line. This may take several passes to properly form. It needs to be bent at a 90 degree angle here. Position the flashing so that it overhangs the chimney equally on the left and the right. Tuck in there right to the base of the chimney. Mark the corners and draw a parallel line two inches out and mark a horizontal line two inches up from the bottom. Cut these out like this and you'll end up with a flap that wraps around the chimney and you'll have this little bit of flashing that extends two inches past the corner. This forms a diverter that takes the water out past the chimney corner. This is an important detail because all the water behind the chimney drains here. I want to get the end of this flashing to lie down on the tile beneath so I'll make a little relief cut here and that will free the end to take the shape of the cap section beneath. Now put a half inch stitch screw as far away from the corner as possible to stay away from the bulk of the water flow. Ideally we should caulk under the end of this flashing here and put the stitch screw through the caulking. On the back of this chimney, you can use a piece of bird stock or a foam closure to keep the debris and water from backing up under the tile. 